What's going on guys? Welcome back to Flying V Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about the Momarsh Invisilab dog line, okay? Let's hop right into it. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to say a big thank you to all of our subscribers. We're going on three weeks of the channel and we got a steady number of people coming in. And for that, I truly am grateful guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the content. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And that'll get you entered in our Mojo Voodoo Dub giveaway, which is gonna be going out in two days this Friday. And if you win it, it'll get to your door just in time for dub season, okay? You can also head over to our Instagram at Flying V Outdoors and get entered that way, as well as on our Facebook page, Flying V Outdoors for your third entry, okay? So good luck to everyone if you have got entered. If you haven't got entered yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, head over to our other social media outlets, get entered, and good luck everyone. All right guys, so something new we're gonna be doing on the channel is gonna be Waterfowl Wednesday gear reviews. Every Wednesday we're gonna be bringing you a brand new review on either tried and tested, field proven gear that we use or brand new gear that we're getting in that we think we're not gonna be able to live without, okay? So up first on our list this Wednesday is gonna be the Momarsh Invisalab dog line. Now I'm a huge fan of this. I picked this up for Boone about two months ago for training and then for hunting later on this season when we're hunting out of the kayaks. That way we have somewhere to hunt with Boone where he's not inside the kayak flying with us. He's not causing stability issues, any of that. It's super compact and lightweight when it's all broken down. The legs extend up to 34 inches, so it's perfect for the shallow water areas that we hunt all season long. And then he has his own blind, safe, out of the way, and he can sit right next to the kayak and hunt with us. I can't wait, so let's jump in and look at some of the features on this thing, okay guys? As you can see, the blind is in the Optifade Marsh camo pattern, which is a pattern that I'm very fond of. It looks great and it blends in really nicely to all the areas that we hunt in. On the front here, we've just got some zippered doors and there's the exact same door right on the back of this blind. So this blind has front and rear entry, which is super cool. And it's also got some side vents on the side of the blind to keep the dog nice and ventilated. He can also see out of it in case your dog has some claustrophobic tendencies, okay? There's stubble straps all around this thing so you can brush it in just as good as you could your layout blind or your kayak blind or what have you, all right? Underneath the blind, which is fully removable, is just your regular Mo Marsh final stand, okay? It's just like the regular final stand dog blind. The only difference is it's got the frame that is built onto it and it's got the blind that attaches to it. Like I said, this blind cover is fully removable. It just Velcro's off in case you wanted to wash it or you wanted to do some training without it, okay? So we'll go ahead and pop it off and show you what this blind looks like without the cover on it itself. It's as easy as that, guys. So there's your cover. You can take it off, chuck it over there, and you don't even need to use it. This is the frame that is attached to it. So if you wanna just use this as a play stand for training, you don't need the blind on it the whole time, all you gotta do is just pop this little tab and this crossbar comes off and then this will fold down. I have trained with it like this um, and your dog can just use this as a regular play stand now. You don't have to worry about the blind being in the way of anything. Um, like I said, it folds down with the blind on it as well. So you can leave the blind on it, leave it brushed in, just pop the bar down, collapse it, and it folds up just like that. And then to fold it up the rest of the way to carry it, underneath, it's got these two red straps right here. So you just pull these and it releases the locking pins and those legs just fold in, okay? And then it locks up nice and tight and it's ready to go. So the only problem I've had out of this thing since I got it um, is one of the red cable straps down underneath here it didn't fully uh, get crimped in from the factory. So one time I went to pull it to unlock it and the cable actually came out of the retainer. So not a big deal. Um, I was kind of worried, Googled it. Um, I didn't send it back to Momar for anything. I just stuck it in there and crimped it. And a few people have had that problem. Um, but just know if you do end up buying one of these and the cable pops out, you can just stick it back in there and just use a pair of pliers, recrimp it down haven't had any problems since that, so it may not have just got fully crimped from the factory. Um, these things come straight out retail value of $220, which is not a bad price, guys, okay? Most dog stands are around $100, $120, so you pay an extra 100 bucks for one that's got the full blind on it, 
uh, and you can't beat it. If you wanted to field hunt with it, you could just tuck the legs up underneath it and set it down on the ground. You could have them elevated from it. You could use it in shallow water. Like I said, the legs go up to 34 inches. So it's a super versatile dog line, super great for training for a play stand. Um, and I highly recommend it. I really can't wait to get Boone out in it and actually be shooting some ducks and having him retrieve from it and return to it. I think it's going to work flawlessly with our kayak setups, especially since all the water we hunt is no deeper than two and a half feet or so. Then for those hunts that we're not going to be hunting out of the kayaks, we still have his ladder stands for the trees and we'll be if we're in a blind we already have our dog boxes so this will fill that gap perfectly if we go on any field hunts or anything we're in a frame um, not a lot of a frames have great visibility for your pups so you can just throw this thing right next to your freaking a frame brush it in with the blind and the dog can work independently on their own and i think it'll really work great so like i said awesome product from mo marsh um, and this will be our first waterfowl wednesday review I hope you guys enjoy it. If you got any gear that you want to see reviewed, drop it below and let us know. We got a lot of new stuff. We actually just had a good mail day today. We got some brand new stuff from Sitka, so we'll be doing a couple Sitka reviews here coming up. I got some brand new gear coming from Tangle Free, and I got another super cool dog product coming from Mo Marsh, which I think you guys are going to love, especially those of you who use hunt dogs, okay? So just stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next Wednesday for another gear review. And don't forget to get entered in our giveaway, guys. Thanks for watching.